Welcome to Unboxed, the podcast where I break open the ideas of innovations and the uncertainties shaping our future. I'm your host, Mona Shanae, and today I'll be diving right into one of the most hotly debated questions of our time. Will AI really replace us at work, or is the truth more complicated than that? When you hear our headlines about AI stealing jobs, it can sound terrifying to most people. But what if the story isn't so much about replacement, but transformation? What if AI isn't the end of human work, but the start of a new kind of work we haven't fully imagined yet? Let's start off with the paradox here. On one hand, the reports shout that AI is coming for everyone, from drivers to lawyers, creatives to radiologists. I mean, the list literally just goes on and on and on. On the other hand, the data tells us a different story. For example, radiology is often listed as one of the most AI-threatened professions, yet radiology departments in places like the Mayo Clinic are hiring more people than ever before, not fewer. Now, if you ask why, it's because AI tools can scan thousands of images quickly, but they still need trained professionals to interpret, contextualize, and crucially make human decisions. What AI does do is shift the focus. Instead of spending hours on repetitive analysis, radiologists can now spend more time consulting with patients, solving complex cases, or guiding treatment, giving value to the human factor AI simply will never be able to compare to. And this is the pattern we see across all industries. AI isn't wiping out the work. It's reshaping it. It takes away the task, but rarely takes away the entire job. I need to repeat that, the entire job. But seriously, to be honest, it will always be a human's choice to use AI, at least for now. But here's the tricky part. The narrative we choose actually shapes the future we get. Let me repeat that again. The narrative we choose actually shapes the future we get. If leaders, companies, and governments frame AI as a job destroyer, they'll prepare for layoffs and cutbacks. I mean, that's just a natural sequence of what would happen. But if they frame it as a productivity enhancer, they'll invest in retraining, redeployment, and innovation. Think of it like this. AI is a tool, not a destiny. A hammer can build a house or break a window, right? I mean, it depends on how we use it. And right now, we have a collective choice. Do we want AI to widen inequality, replacing workers and deepening divides? Or do we want to raise the floor, giving people the chance to do more meaningful, creative and human work? So let me get practical here. If AI is transforming work rather than eliminating it, what skills should we actually be developing? You know, everyone's different, but on, on a high level, I would first say critical thinking would be on my top list. AI can generate ideas, but it cannot judge your worth. It cannot judge the worth of what you're doing. That's human judgment. Knowing what's relevant, ethical, and aligned with your values, our values, is becoming even more valuable. Second is communication. Ironically, the more machines we have in the workplace, the more human-to-human communication matters. In fact, you know, anytime I get together with someone, it just seems that more valuable. Whether it's persuading a client, explaining a decision, or leading a team, those relational skills become irreplaceable. And thirdly, adaptability. The life of the technical knowledge is shrinking as we speak. What you learn today will be outdated in three years, if not sooner. So instead of focusing on hard skills, focus on learning how to learn. The ability to pivot will be your superpower. In other words, the jobs of tomorrow may not look like the jobs today, but people who thrive will be those who can combine human skills with AI capability. I want to pause here and highlight something important. There is still something uniquely human that no AI can replicate, which I hinted on earlier. AI doesn't dream. It doesn't feel joy or heartache. It doesn't wrestle with moral dilemmas. It doesn't sit next to someone in silence and know when to say, I understand. Yes, AI will get better at mimicking these things, but authenticity matters. And our humanity, our ability to connect, empathize, and create meaning That's not going anywhere. So instead of asking, will AI take my job? Maybe the better question is, what parts of my work make me human and how do I make more of that? So will AI replace us? The truth is not entirely. (laughs) It can and will replace tasks. It 
will transform workflows and it'll push us to rethink what work even means to us. But the real story is about choice, how we choose to design, adopt, and guide this technology. As individuals, that means investing in the skills that make us human. As leaders, it means framing AI not as a threat, but as a tool for growth. And as a society, it means ensuring that no one gets left behind in this transition. This has been Unboxed. If today's conversation sparked new thoughts for you, share this episode with someone who's wrestling with their future at work. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on the idea that I'm unboxing. I'm Mona Shanae, and until next time, stay curious, stay human, and keep unboxing the future.